It's like being inside an Andreas Gursky photograph. Yeah, totally, like it is a Gursky photograph, but, but also it's played out like a, an art installation. It's fantastic. It's like an, an art performance. Chanel's spring collection took place in a supermarket of art. For fall, Karl Lagerfeld's gone one step further and built an actual supermarket in the Grand Palais. There are over 100,000 products on these shelves, and you should have seen the shopaholics in the crowd go wild. I think this was the most democratic collection ever. There were more types of women in this show than I've ever seen before. Exactly, yes. So I hope so. I'm happy you got that impression because that's exactly what I wanted to show. You know, after the art gallery, what is a supermarket for the very rich? I wanted to make a very normal, the normal supermarket where the rich can go to without being out of place. As the face of Coco Mademoiselle for some time, you've made that woman into a kind of an adventurous. Every uh, campaign, she has a different thing going on. What's she doing this time? There's a boat involved. A very, very beautiful speedboat on the Seine. What have you learned from Carl over these years? Just his resilience, his stamina, constantly going forward. It's something I can't even imagine how you do that. I mean, I suppose that's fashion in general, isn't it? But, but he is an absolute master at it. The really amazing thing is you were writing down the Chanelisms, you're, you, you know, you were charting the tweed, you were writing about the lace, and then actually you just kind of forgot about all of that. And it was great, and there were loads of clothes, and there were clothes for everybody. There were, you know, as many different people that go through a supermarket were dressed in that collection. There was a onesie that I was very partial to, in a sort of corally burnt orange that I thought, oh, I'd like to wear that. What was interesting was it could have been gimmicky, but it absolutely wasn't. I have to say, I think it was my favourite Chanel collection ever. I think there was a little satirical element here today as well. But that's a good thing, you know? How much can you laugh at life and yourself and everything we do? I love the satire of it. I love the, the kind of the archness of it. I thought it was very, very clever. I think whenever you're anywhere near Carl, it's always got an edge, the fantasy, with you know, with him. It, there's always something that's deeper or something that's making a comment about something else. I love the fact that a couple of the models looked like they were shoplifting as well, which I really appreciated. Cara was definitely shoplifting. I like that. <laughs> My favorite part of this show was the idea of all these women shopping. I would adore to go to a supermarket full of women like that.